apply very thin coats. Well, Christmas is upon us and I need some stocking stuffers. So I thought I'd build some 3D puzzle cubes. If you are interested in building a few of these, I'll have a template available for download. As with most projects, I started out milling up the lumber and cutting it to the overall size. Since it is a pain to sand a bunch of little pieces, I decided to sand the board before I cut it all up. To ensure each piece came out the same size, I set up a stop on my miter gauge and cut out all the parts. While it was added, I cut an extra piece that I will later use to do test cuts on to dial in the fit. Next, I cut two strips of wood the same thickness as my puzzle pieces to be used as setup blocks. Now it was time to build a jig to hold the puzzle pieces safely and accurately. All the measurements for the jig are drawn out and available in the same file as the template for the pieces. I use a piece of scrap plywood to build the jig, cutting two pieces. One to attach to my miter gauge, the other to act as a hold down when cutting the pieces out. To set the hold down pieces at the right height, I used the puzzle pieces as spacers and screwed the jig together. With my data stack in, I did a couple of test cuts on some scrap to dial in the width and height before making the first cut on my jig. Then I took one of the test spacer blocks I cut earlier and used some CA glue to glue it into the notch I cut. Once the glue was dry, I used a second spacer to position the jig on the miter gauge. I temporarily clamped it in place so I could make some test cuts and move it back and forth as necessary. Once I dialed it in, I screwed it to the miter gauge so it would be less likely to get knocked out of whack. I decided holding these little blocks this close to the dado stack was a little risky for my comfort, so I added a couple of toggle clamps to the jig. Now as you may have figured out by now, this is a lot like cutting box joints. The main difference is that you need to keep track of the shape of the puzzle that you're cutting to make sure you cut the notches in the right spots. Now following my template on where to cut out the notches, I either position the block against the spacer strip, or butt it against a spacer block that is notched over the spacer strip, all depending on where I need to make the cut to relieve the material. There's one piece that is shorter than the rest, so I saved it to last and repositioned the toggle clamps and the top hold down piece to accommodate it. Once all the pieces were cut out, I used my little bench top sander to clean up all the notches. I decided they would look a little cooler if I used my router table to put a small chamfer on them. To hold them steady while chamfering the ends, I repurposed my jig by enlarging the notch to allow for the bit to pass safely around the pieces. The chamfer bit didn't get into the corner, so I used the sanding block to clean them up. Now all I need to do is apply a few thin coats of finish and it'll be ready for Christmas.